All right, good morning. It is like nine o'clock in the morning. I don't get up this early. I don't do things like this, but anyways. So I was binge watching Olivia O'Neill last night and I got inspired to make a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna do my life in quarantine. Not gonna lie, this will not be very interesting in any way, shape or form. Also, I'm filming this on my new phone. This is my old one, but yeah, I still have it. Um, I got an iPhone X refurbished um, because I'm a cheap bitch. I'm not going to pay like fucking 700 euro for a phone. Um, but yeah, please enjoy this to the best of your ability. Um, I, I will try and make it interesting. I lied. I will try and make it interesting. But um, yeah, enjoy. Oh, I really wanted to make like a YouTuber breakfast, breakfast, something fancy like avocado on toast. But I just thought my mother made pancake mix, so I'm going to have a pancake instead. So because we are in lockdown, you usually don't have absolutely any reasons to get up and get dressed and put in any effort to look nice. But today I have to go into town to pick up a prescription. This is honestly the highlight of my week and that is no exaggeration at all. Like I do not leave my house other than to go and take care of my like nannies and stuff like that. I don't even go for walks because like honestly I am kind of scared to go for walks by myself. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to do that. I'm going to hop in the shower, wash myself, maybe put on a nice outfit and yeah. Also, I really apologise. I did not realise how scabby the tan on my neck was. I really apologise for that. That is absolutely revolting. And I'm going to scrub that off. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Tan is scrubbed off on my neck. I kind of left it, like, on my chest because it's fairly, like, grand on my chest. Anyways, I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup, uh, dry my hair, etc, etc. I'm going to have a little bit of a chit-chat. I don't really know what I'm going to talk about because I'm not that interesting. Like, people always ask me, they're like, oh my god, like, what's life like being TikTok famous? And I'm like, nothing happens. So I guess this is going to be a bit of a wee makeup tutorial. That was terrible, I'm never going to do that accent again. So, I didn't wash my hair because, since we are in lockdown, oh, since we are in lockdown, we should be trying to get our hair all greasy and get all the natural oils back into it. So if you see me in town, anyone who watched this with a greasy head of hair on me, please mind your own business. I don't want to show you my ears. Literally every video I do, if my hair is like tied up or you can see my ears, it's always like elf, monkey, and I'm like, okay, thank you. I didn't realize they were that big. Obviously I did, leave me alone. I look like a nun, please. We're not gonna talk about this look. What I've been doing recently, instead of putting like pure tan on, is mixing a moisturizer with my like developing tan. I use the Iconic Bronze Ultra Dark. I just get a little bit of moisturizer. And I'll squirt some tan into it. And then mix it around with just like the end of a makeup brush. Just gonna put it on my neck. Oh my god, that does look like poo. And I'm just gonna get this brush and like focus it here on like where the patches are from oh, the, the patches are from where I didn't scrub off the tan. Alright, moving on to the face. We got that same brush and this. And we're done. I think that's cute. Okay, now that I've let all my tan like soak into my face, we're gonna continue on. What do I talk like this? Um, so we're only going to put a little bit on today. I'm going to use this foundation, YSM Cream Foundation by Inglot, and this lighter one because I feel like it's too dark. Do you actually want to see something extremely devastating, right? So this is my Inglot palette, and I had it up on the desk, and I bashed my elbow on it. I actually can't even show you. It's like, it's a, oh, it's going to fall. Sorry. I, I feel like I should be talking about something, but I don't really have anything to like talk about. Um, oh my ear, sorry, don't look, shield your eyes, shield your eyes, shield your eyes. Maybe I should like answer questions that like I mostly get asked, right? Number one question I get asked, like say if I go on live stream, I'm just like, oh, ask some questions, this and that, is what is on your lip. So I don't know, like sometimes it's really like prominent and like other days you can't really see it. But basically, it's a little trip back to 2006, 2006. 
me and my family went to Dublin Zoo and we were all just chilling whatever you know look at the tigers and I was in my dad's arms and suddenly a bee comes and lands on my lip and stings it that's what this is from but to add on top of that the same day another bee stung me on the lip maybe it was the same bee and I just really actually fancied me and just wanted to kiss me but yeah I got stung on the lip twice by a bee so that's why I have this thing oh actually we're gonna talk about the leaving sir I'm sure everyone here is like absolutely sick of me talking about the leaving sir but it's gonna have a little bit of a chitter chatter about the leaving so basically if you all follow me on instagram e better if you don't here it is but if you don't follow me on instagram then you won't know that i am um, <laughs> i was very much promoting the cancellation of the leaving cert and it got cancelled so and i made a video joking like joking it was like oh me showing up to trinity after getting 625 points because i was the teacher's pet all year and like I had a few people being like, um, weren't you like advocating to get the living sort of cancelled and now you're making jokes about it? Am I not a joke? But I had a few battles with a few fifth years and one argument I had was that I put up, I was like, why do you not? So I did a poll on my Instagram and I said, um, if the leading start was to be cancelled, would you be happy? with uh, predicted grades with an option to sit the leaving cert or to option to sit an exam if you weren't happy with them and it was like 80% for it and 20% no and then uh, and then I put up and I was like okay if you do not agree with this like why why do you not think that this would work one of the fifth years she was like oh um because it's not fair because you get two chances Every year you can get two chances. You can re you can re repeat a year. You can reset your leaving cert. That is two chances. I know. Oh my god. Sorry. I I'm not even ranting. I'm so sorry. Like I know. Like fifth years do deserve compensation. Like a hundred percent because you missed out on like three four months like coursework, and it's not fair to like expect you to go on with your leaving cert as normal. And um, I'm sure you will get compensation for that. But there's this page and I put it up in my story. It's like fifth year is not forgotten. And I was like, this is a perfectly good, it's a very mature way of dealing with things. But they put up on their story saying that this is terrible. The government have been, have been prioritizing six years over fifth years. Obviously. Obviously, you have to do pressing issues before the issues that are 13 months away. Anyways, we're not going to continue with this because I'm just going to get angry. I've been reading a lot of tweets from like college students and stuff and I actually do think it's terrible. Like college students haven't gotten anything. Like they still have to do their exams apparently like online. And I think that's terrible. Like how are you supposed to do that? And like how are you supposed to make sure like nobody cheats? Like do you have to keep your webcam on? That's really weird. But um, college students 100% deserve compensation as well because they've had to do everything themselves. Like I've seen like professors or lecturers or whatever are piling on the work for them and like like that like that was one of the bigger issues as well with the leaving start going ahead like it just needs to be cancelled because the mental health of students and especially college students as well now that they still have to do their exams is more important like they should not have to do their exams in this manner maybe give them an option to sit them at a later date but not online. Also, I do get a lot of questions on how I do my eyebrows because clearly you can see I really do catfish y'all with my eyebrows. So we're gonna be using, oh my god, disgusting, right? The Benefit Goof Proof Pencil and obviously just brush up the brows to show where your hair is going. I don't really know what I'm talking about, like I'm not in, I'm not a moo So first thing I'm gonna do is just do a little hair shoot. I don't even know if you can see, but we're going to do hair like strokes at the very, very front of the brow. Then I do a line underneath. And a line above. I basically follow like my natural hairline until about here because I just do not have any hair. Like there's just a patch. Like why is that? Like why does that do that? And then to get that more of a natural, fluffy looking brow. Why is my ear sticking out so much? Ugh. You get a powder. I'm just using a brown from like a MAC palette I got when I was like 14. And I do not use anything except the brown in it. 
but we're gonna put that on top to make it look fuller and not just like they're stamped on and finally i'm just this is a really mini one i got it like in like a multi-set thing but it's just the benefit gimme brow and we're gonna brush that through them as well to make the or the the hairs set in place i'm gonna take a little bit of black eyeshadow to create a wing um, and this is the blackest black like you will ever ever see in your entire life of living it's gonna make a little little boop and then i'm gonna take this like thin fluffy brush i suppose and we're gonna blend it you move but other than that like i'm really happy that the leave-in is cancelled but i'm also kind of really sad because i genuinely have absolutely nothing to do now like obviously i can see my boyfriend next week <sighs> only outside though but i can see him but like there's no pubs open until september but there is a pub in town that is doing takeaway cocktails because they were closed for a while and they had the best cocktails ever like i mean the best it's just such a depressing time like six years is supposed to be like the best year of your life you go on holidays you have festivals you you have your debt you have your grad like we have none of that we don't have a, we don't have a grad at all we don't have a ceremony like that like my teachers were saying like we will organize a night closer to the time when it's safer obviously probably in september but that's still it's just not the same like a lot of people probably won't be able to come because they'll be in college and probably moved away and they'll have lectures and this and that just a little bit depressed though it is a little bit depressing um that i do not get to experience the year that i thought i would get to experience but i'm sure i'll be able to make the most of it okay so now that my makeup's done i'm just gonna blow dry my hair and then i'll do my lips because i don't want my hair to sink to my lip gloss and um, so i'm gonna do that and then i'll be right back so i just finished painting my wardrobe yesterday no it's really irking me though i had to use a different type of paint for like the outer rim like you can see it's like kind of a different color and um, but to be honest like i really just i'm not arsed to paint it again and um, so we're gonna have to deal with that so as you can see i went with this extremely basic outfit because i don't want to be like strolling up to the chemist in like six inch heels and a mini skirt but you know it's the nicest outfit i've worn in about five months so we're gonna move also, I decided I was going to be really quirky and cool and pair some sunglasses with this outfit because, you know, it wasn't basic enough. So, I had just returned home from my half an hour journey to get some drugs and now I have nothing else to do. So, I'm going to try and make my life interesting for all of you. So, after sitting here for about an hour, I've decided I'm really uncomfortable. I'm going to change out my jeans. I don't know why I wore jeans today. They're the most uncomfortable thing I've ever experienced in my life. I'm gonna change out of my jeans, make some lunch and make cookies and that's how I'm gonna make this video interesting and it's probably still not gonna be interesting so if anyone is still watching hello thank you for still watching. Well now that we're looking absolutely homeless uh, I'm gonna go down and make myself uh probably ham and cheese toasty because I'm really not about that skinny eating lifestyle like you know I'm fucking skinny and I can't gain weight to save my life Um, I just can't do it. I decided I'm gonna follow this subway style cookie recipe. Um, like I'm really not good at baking. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just don't have anything else to do. So I just have these ingredients in, and I know from the last time I made these cookies, I cannot mix this into that. So I'm gonna melt this a little bit. I don't think I'm supposed to do that, but we move. So I melted the butter a bit. We move. We do. Let's want it Let's eat more butter. As we said to put in two cups of flour, but that looks like a lot, so um Do I put in more butter if this doesn't work? <gasps> I've got the eggs. Shit. Ugh. So I'm absolutely after mauling my phone and it's covered in like 
dough, but we fixed it, okay? And now we just have to put in the chocolate chips. So I have dark chocolate chips, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put in some buttons as well because these are dark and like these are obviously like normal. But and I'm gonna use my hands to knead it in. Obviously, I washed them. I've been seeing people use ice cream scoops to like ball it up, so we're gonna try and do that. I don't want them to be too big either, so. Oh my god, that's so cute. So, first batch is a little burnt, um, but I turned down the heat and we're going to put these ones in, and there's a little bit left, so I'll have to put in three more. Curtis. Shut up! Okay. So all my cookies are out of the oven now and I'll probably have one later with a cup of tea and um, but they need to cool now. So oh my god, look at that one. You can see. Oh that's beautiful. Say yes I Say yes I sitting here for the past 45 minutes after I had a big fat stew oh my god it was sexy uh, I'm gonna make some TikToks and then uh, I'm going to put on my pajamas and take off all my makeup and I'll show you my nighttime routine oh my god just girly things okay so I just put on my PJs and now I'm gonna just quickly wipe off my makeup and stuff and show you some of the products that I use. Again, I don't think anybody actually cares, but we move. I feel like someone should make a drinking game with this video and every time I say, we move, you have to take a sip. Cause if that was the case, everyone would be absolutely moldy by now. Okay, so I'll just, I'm using my center water to wipe off my makeup first because I have this other one, it's from Zayaja. It came in a, a promo package, whatever you want to call it. And it's really good, but it's not as like powerful as taking makeup off of this. So I usually just clean my face if I don't have any makeup on with this instead of that. So, yeah. Um. Okay, and I remember I said I would show you how I tint my eyebrows. So basically, I just use this mustache and beard, or just for men, mustache and beard dye, basically. Um, I find it better than actual eyebrow dye because it sticks to the skin more and uh, you can get darker shades. So... Basically, it comes with these two things. You do need barely any for your eyebrows, like absolutely barely any. So, I'm just gonna dip a little squirt. That's way too much. That is way too much. And then this is like the color. And then a little squeeze of that. But that's way too much, way too much. And I'm just going to get the end of this brush that comes out. I don't use it. Um, and just mix it together. Uh, also what I do is I just get some Vaseline. And I outline my eyebrow where I don't want any of the dye to go. And it just stops it like bleeding anywhere. And um, staining my face. So I'm just going to get an angled brush. And carve out the brows. So when I've done that. I'm just gonna get an angled brush. I actually use this to put on the eyeshadow, but I, it just washes off straight with water. So dip it in this. And I'm going to pack it on at the outer edges of the brow first. And I'm gonna let that sit there first for a while and then we're gonna put a second layer on it and do the front bit. As you can see, these have been on for about three minutes now and they've darkened a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and do the front now. Um, always do the front last because you never want that to be like extra dark or patchy or etc. etc. So now that they look like they've been absolutely stamped on my face with Sharpie, uh, I'm just gonna take a cotton pad and get some shampoo and scrub it off and then I'll show you the results. And this right here are the finished brows and like does not rub off they stay on and um, well yeah that's how I do my eyebrows moving on to the rest of my skincare so 
Um, I have two toners and one I use when I'm just kind of looking for more hydration and stuff, which is the Zyaja Jiju Young Skin. Also got this in promo package. Um, I wasn't paid for it, but I really like this toner. But my favorite one is the Ordinary and it has glycolic acid in it. Um, so if you have sensitive skin, this probably isn't the best because it burns. Um, like it, it, it does burn like a little bit. Um, especially if you've just exfoliated or anything but you just need a tiny tiny bit and then you dab it all over where you get redness and mostly I just get it here and here so I'm just gonna dab and then after I do that I will usually spray my face with this as well Whew. and then the moisturizer I use is just one um from Aldi. It's like the La Cora basically rip off version of the L'Oreal <coughs> L'Oreal something. You know, it looks like this. It looks exactly like this bottle. But um it's really thick, really moisturizing and I like it. The one I use in the morning again is from Zayaja. I came in the promo package. It's like I really like them because they're like vegan. But again, wasn't paid to say that. I just really like the brand. Um, so as you can all see, my hair is like extremely greasy after today, but as I said, we're in quarantine. We need to get all the natural oils back into our hair. I like to let it go greasy. And I'll wake up and have a shower tomorrow, but before I do that, I'm going to absolutely lace it in leave-in conditioner again. I have two leave-in conditioners, but this is my favourite one. Again, it's just from Aldi. Uh, it does the job. Uh, sometimes as well, if I don't want to wash it, if I want to leave it greasy for longer, I'll put it in Dutch Blacks. Dutch plaits, Dutch braids, Dutch braids. So that is basically my life in lockdown. I don't do very much, obviously have to stay inside and comply to restriction rules. But um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and none of you left halfway through. If anyone's here at the end, um, thank you very much and I appreciate you very much. And hopefully I'll have another YouTube video soon. If you have any requests for any videos, drop them down below. Again, I am illiterate, why can I not form a sentence? Anyways, again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you.